Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 19 Special Type of Quadrilaterals Exercise 19 D. Question 1. EFGS is a rhombus. Find A, B and C. EFGH it's a rhombus. You have to find A, B and C. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let's see here. First of all, look. We know the property of the rhombus about its diagonals that the diagonals bisect each other at right angles at 90 degrees this is the property okay so in this also this is the rhombus and these are the two diagonals right and you can see they are bisecting each other it's a simple property even if it's not told so that means this side will be equal to this side this side should be equal to this side yes okay that means the part to the left of the center and then the part to the right that will be equal according to the rule because the diagonals bisect now look here i know in this diagonal eg i know one part is 8 the other part is a so the other part will also be 8 cent 8 units only because the diagonals bisect each other so both the parts have same measure here if we have to find b i need to know this side okay which i don't know so first let's calculate this only right okay look here in triangle let's take a triangle okay so which triangle uh, should we pick up for this one look we can name this a point here let's say o fine give it a name so we can go g o and h right in triangle g o h triangle g o h here right you have to use what you have to use the pythagoras theorem first of all one very important thing that you should know is that they are bisecting each other at right angles that's the thing so when the triangle is a right triangle then only you can apply pythagoras theorem what does it say it says hypotenuse square right is equal to the square of the base right plus the square of the height okay so look hypotenuse is always the longest side or the side opposite to the right angle in the triangle this is the right angle and the side opposite to it is gh so in place of hypotenuse you will write down gh square is equal to base and height you can choose anything right you can write in one place here OG square plus OH square simple right hypotenuse is the longest side the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the other two sides doesn't matter you can edit in any other order up to you let's put the values GH is 10 10 square OG is 8 8 square OH I don't know we have to find OH that is why I am using this so 100 uh, 10 square is 100 right is equal to 8 square 64 OH square so 100 minus 64 is equal to OH square so 36 is equal to OH square so OH will be equal to the square root of 36 that means it is equal to 6 one very important thing that will help us in solving our question is that oh is equal to 6 okay fine now there's nothing much left in this question directly you can write the answers everything is now easily known to us look let's write down the measure of each side one by one or each alphabet i should say one by one see here a will be equal to 8 because diagonals bisect each other so 8 and a they will have same measure right they are just parts of one diagonal so they are equal in measure same will come for the other diagonal that is b and 6 so b will be equal to 6 as well right and you can write down that diagonals bisect each other at right angles fine so a is equal to 8 b is equal to 6 
C is also there. What will C be equal to? C will be equal to look. What is C? C is the side of the rhombus or not? Yes. And we know all the sides in a rhombus are equal. So can I say that C is equal to this 10, right? Because out of four sides, even if you know measure of any one side, then you can find all the other three sides because they will have the same length. So we know measure of one side is 10. So the measure of all the four sides will be 10. Therefore, C will be equal to 10. And you can write down all sides of a rhombus are equal. Okay, that's it. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves.